Okay, so Brian Danielson essentially is telling people that he's retiring, and they they do that, and the announcers go and do about one sentence, and then we move on to Mox and Claudio. It's like, if you're going to do that angle, okay, and you don't sell it big, why even bother with it? I didn't get the impression that he was retiring. Well, he's going I got the impression that he was mentally broken, and he needed to take some time off. That's what I got out of this. Okay. I don't even think we're if, supposed to think he retired. Well, nobody thinks he's retiring. But the point is is that even if that's the case, that he's leaving, Brian Danielson leaving for a while should still be, you know, taken as a bigger thing than, oh, and this is what he just said, and now let's start the next match, and never referred to again. It's like to get an angle over, you got to, like, freaking get the angle over. You can't do the angle and then – the announcers move on if the announcers move on then we move on if the announcers don't treat it like it's a big deal then why is the audience going to treat it like a big deal and if the audience isn't treating like it like a big deal why do an angle like that in the first place if the audience is, is taught not to treat it like a big deal that's the whole point you got to sell these freaking angles or they're useless the story if the story isn't sold it's like you know when people go like AEW doesn't tell any stories. I mean, that's the most ludicrous thing in the world. They tell, they, if anything, they tell too many stories. But that's fine. But the reason people say that is because they don't emphasize the stories. And because they don't emphasize the stories, you have people who go and like, you know, they don't have, like WWE, to their credit, they emphasize the important stories. And this should be, you know, Brian Danielson is one of the top guys in the company. Uh, just main event at a pay-per-view. And he did that, and they need to freaking sell what he did and sell that match. And they didn't, you know what? They had they had arguably one of the, the best or the second best match in company history. Um, probably the best singles match in company history. Even if you argue that, that, that uh, Paige and uh, Omega was better, you know, it's the second best match, singles match in company history. But incredible, incredible performance, you know. I mean, they didn't even put that match over that. I mean, they, they, they said it was good, but it wasn't like, you'll never believe we had like three of the greatest matches of all time on this pay-per-view by the freaking replay. For those of you who missed it, you know what I mean? It's like they should have had freaking like what WWE would do. God, I'm doing it again. Where they have those those fake headlines of all these places saying like how great it was and everything. Somebody must have said how great it was other than us because it was so obviously those matches were so obviously great, especially that Iron Man match. And it's like, when you do something great and you don't tell people, they'll forget it. Because, again, there's so many things that's thrown at them. If you're not emphasizing it, it's going to be emphasized. And that's like, they need to sell their shit better. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? Me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music. Some '70s song for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. gonna get kicked off Boo. whatever run Boo. you just disgusted granny that's like the uncle howdy thing what a jamming song that is yeah keep it off this show please if you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you can enjoy full length editions of the brian and Vinny show wrestling observer live figure four daily with tom lawler and lance storm the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.